Hi guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to review with you two new mascaras that I have tried. Their mascara has always been my favorite kind of thing because I very much focus on my eyes because I feel like they're small compared to the rest of my face, so I like to make them pop, and I try to find new ways to do that all the time, especially because I buy such expensive mascaras that it's hard to keep up with the prices of them. So I've been trying to find some drugstore brands that are equal to some of my Sephora brands like Maybelline like Maybelline I tried that um Revlon Remmel I tried them all kind of but today I'm going to show you a kind from Sephora and a kind from the drugstore and unfortunately to me the Sephora one one like usual but I will explain why and kind of like the look you want to achieve I'm gonna get a little closer these are my eyelashes today Using the two mascaras, if you could see the definition, they're very long, and they almost look like false lashes. So together, the mascaras are good, but I'm going to explain to you which one I like better and why. So first, I'll start off with Blink Mascara, and that is from Sephora. And I think it retails for about $20, around there, $15, $20. So it's expensive, but I'll show you the brush. The brush is... It's almost, if you can see the consistency, it's like a paint consistency. That's the brush. It's very voluminous. And actually, the funny thing is, is that the mascara is like a paint consistency. And the Blink Mascara motto is, stop painting your lashes, tube them. So, it's kind of cool because this mascara and the brush that I showed you, again, Blink, I'll hold it while I talk. The mascara lengthens your eyelashes a lot. It's given my eyelashes a lot of length as you can see it's very they're very long but there wasn't much like spreading them apart giving them volume it gave it more length which is hard for me because again I have such different eyelashes that I want the full effect and I often have to use many different mascaras so that's what I liked about them um it has to be my favorite because of how much it lengthened my eyelashes and in how little coats it took it took two coats to lengthen my eyelashes about that much because I don't have long eyelashes, again. And one day I'll show you a video without my eyelashes, like my mascara on to see my eyelashes. But I have to tell you, the only bad thing about this that I did not like was that, unfortunately, when you mix it with other mascaras, it's very, very hard to take off. It has a paint-like consistency. So it's very sticky to your face. It's not, not a good feeling. Definitely not a good look when you're trying to take it off. Don't take it off with makeup wipes. Take it off in the shower with soap because it's very hard to take off. It's the only thing I didn't like. But that's the Blink Mascara and it is my favorite one for length. And it comes at Sephora and I will put the link below. And second is the Rimmel Show Off Scandalize. It looks upside down to you guys, but... That's still upside down. But, um... This retails for about $5.65 at your drugstores or Target. I bought this because I had seen a lot of ads for it, and then in Seventeen Magazine, it was rated the best mascara, and it was one of the mascaras for their makeup look page that they do. So I decided I'd buy it, try it out, you know. Um, let me show you the brush. What I thought was cool about the brush was that it has this long part, and then it has this ball part. So you put this on your lashes like this. And then you take the ball and you go like that. And you spread them apart. And it gives it that bam. And you could also do it on the bottom. Like right in here. I'm not going to actually do it because I have it on. But you put it under here. And it spreads your lashes a lot. What I don't like about this. And it's, it's very unfortunate. The first one I bought was completely hard. There was no mascara in it. So they had given me a new one. But I'm going to try to show you the consistency of it if you can see it looks like there's nothing on the brush if I touch my hand with it I'm just gonna go across my hands like this look at the amount of mascara on my hand that is it if you touch gently that is all that comes on if I push hard that is all that comes on it's a very dry mascara compared to the blank I will do the blank now I'm going to take it off and rub it on my hand for you. It's such a mess. But compared to the blink, I will do the blink on this side. If you rub, that's how much comes off. That was gently. If you rub hard, that's how much comes off. So this is the blink right here. 
that's the Rimmel. It's very, very different. So to me, it was a problem because it wasn't a, um, a wet mascara. And I don't like that. I don't like the dry consistency because to me, you're not building up anything if there's nothing there. So I, it's hard to say. I would recommend this if you like drier lashes, if you don't like the wet consistency that takes a while to dry, I would recommend this because it's very dry. It almost, it's hard to tell if it's actually doing anything. But I do like the brush. If I could get the brush and put it in a different formula, which I might try actually in another video, I would completely recommend this because it's a great brush. It's great to lengthen and separate and give volume, which I really, really liked. But it's not something I would wear alone. I've tried it. It doesn't give me enough volume. So those are the two mascaras. Again, I'll show you with my mascara hand. Blink from Sephora. And... Scandalize from Rimmel. Although I do have to show you, and Rimmel is an okay brand. I have never really bought much from them, so I'm not sure how I had felt before, and I thought it would be worth a shot because it was a cheap brand. So this is something that I have seen commercials for. This is Rimmel, and I have to say, my mascara hand, I have to say, I love it. This is their lipstick, and it's the Kate lipstick. It comes in the little red container. It has Kate written on it. This is 113, and it's Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick, and this is in Rosetto. And it's a very nude color. I wanted a nude because I wanted something now that I'm starting to get more tan and I'm tanning for summer. It's become... I like the lighter look. So I wanted a nude lipstick, something I could wear every day but feel pretty. So I'm just going to put it on really quick. And show you from far away see it's very light very nude and I'll get close up it's almost like a tan color and it's very very glossy and it feels like chapstick it's an amazing feel it's a light 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 smooth feel and I love it and the color lasts a very long time this retailed for $3.99 and it comes in a bunch of different colors so I would definitely recommend this for Rimmel I absolutely would recommend the lipstick so I hope you guys liked my mascara and my bonus lip tutorial and opinion today and I'll see you guys next week